Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite. And we have a special guest with us today. She goes by the name of... The Vampire Squirrel. Oh, yeah. Let's get cracking. Let's get cracking into another one as well. All right. So, I have a story that, that comes from Parma, Ohio, right near our old stomping grounds. All right. Yeah. I don't know if you know Vampire Squirrel, but we were both, we're both from Ohio. How cool. Yeah. It's not as cool as it sounds. It's really not as cool <laughs> as it I mean, if you mean temperature because it's cold there all the time because of lake effect snow, then yes. But other yes. than that. That is what I meant. All right. <laughs> where, 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 are you, where are you from? I'm from New Jersey. Jersey? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. It Fair is enough. also cool in temperature there at times. Very, very. Do you miss the snow ever? No. No? Okay. I like the first time it snows for like five minutes. Yeah, yeah. It's, exactly. It's always pretty for the first 10 minutes until you have to shovel it. Yeah, exactly. Or dry exactly. it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, I may have went to this Chipotle in Parma. I don't know okay. before. So, uh, okay. so basically a lady, what was her name? Uh, truth, not facts here. I didn't get her name. Oh, yeah, I did. Rosemary Hain, 39 years old, went to Chipotle to get a burrito bowl. And... She didn't like what she had to say, so she threw the burrito bowl at a 26-year-old lady working behind the counter and was belittling her. She had came to save the 17-year-old girl that she was screaming at before that. So due to the food assault, she was sentenced to 100 days, 180 days in jail with 90 of the sentence suspended. Oh, so do wow. you think that's a fair – first, do you think that's a fair sentence for hurling a hot Chipotle burrito bowl at a, at a worker? Okay, so lady gets mad, throws a burrito bowl, gets how many days? 180 days, half 180 a year. days. What do you think? What do you think, Vampire Squirrel? Tell mm, me. I mean, it depends. Like, was this burrito bowl smoking hot? Did it burn someone? Uh, mm. What words was she using, et cetera? Does she have a past – of doing violent things to other people. So I think we have to kind of figure out like the circumstances in order was to Was it determine. a burrito bowl hate crime? Right. Was it a hate crime? <laughs> right? Yeah, you know right, I mean? right. So I think it did burn her, but not bad. So, but anyways, the point of this is the judge can't, like she, of course, wasn't sorry. Like tried to like say like, did you see this bowl? If you would have seen the food I got, like, you know, trying to like play the victim of why she oh, did it. Yeah, the yeah. judge offered her to knock off half of her sentence if she agreed to work 20 hours a week in a fast food restaurant for, I think it was like 180 hours or something. Oh, really? Yeah. Did she agree to the she term? She took it. Oh. She did take it. That's interesting. Because the judge responded, when she talked about how bad the food, the judge responded, how good do you think the food's going to be in jail? And it's like, point. Taken. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, do you think that that was warranted? Do you think that was fair? Huh. I think it's an interesting way to deal with the case. I think it is because you get to show the individual who obviously has a per like you can always tell a per like a big red flag for a person is how they treat their servers, how they treat like the uh, the wait staff anywhere. Like this lady obviously has problems, so I think it's a very inventive way to get it done and you know give her some perspective. So I'm all for it, but I think she should have got life. <laughs> <laughs> life, yeah. That's just my opinion. Would you take that? Would you take the fast food time over jail? What, working at a Chipotle? I don't know if it has to be Chipotle. Maybe it's Burger King or something. No, can't know. you like go to jail and get a degree or something? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> how, how long does it take to get a doctor? 120 days? 130 days? I don't know. I can do that in half the time. What do you think, uh, Vampire Squirrel? I think she should have been bitten by the Vampire Squirrel. <laughs> I'm <laughs> telling you, that's rude as hell. You can't just walk into a... I always hate it when I see... See people walk into a McDonald's store. I just got a like a visual. I, I saw I some flash. passion in your eyes. I got the a fire flash. was real. This like I've walked in and I've definitely seen people just like start belittling the way staff. That's one of the few times where I feel like I will step in and say something. Say something. Usually I'm about minding my own fucking business, but I can't tolerate certain things. One, the, the messing with animals, and two, messing with people who are just trying to do their job. Man, it's awful. That's true. Yeah. Have either of you ever had food thrown at you? In a like a negative fashion, like this, like you know, not like not like the cute wedding, like ha ha, here's cake in your face, but like somebody like got mad and like threw food at you. Has that ever happened? No, no. One, they went throwing a drink on you. Nothing. Yeah, one time five thousand years ago when I was a new vampire squirrel. <laughs> yeah, what happened? Um, I was trying to uh, get my familiar to become a full vampire, and uh, he resisted and threw a bunch of uh, squirrel guts in my face and. <laughs> You know, I was delighted to his dismay, but, uh, you know. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, 
I didn't realize that we were dealing with a uh, an extra non-human intelligence here. Well, yes, it's, yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Do they have fast food restaurants in Jersey? <laughs> they do. They do, and I often scrounge around on the floors to find them. I, I especially like old French fries that have been sitting for three days. Fair enough. Fair three. Enough. It has to be three days because I love the number three. You're not even wrong. There's something special about aged Crisco that just it just can't be beat. <laughs> it's had you know, three thousand potatoes boiled in it. I couldn't have said it better. Yeah. 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 So uh, as 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 a squirrel, yes. apparently, I you know this is new information to me. Um, but as a squirrel. Mm-hmm. What would be your fast food order from a Chipotle? Oh. What are we talking here? Uh, triple steak. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> not a nut in the house. Huh? Not a pistachio. Not well, a. Well, oh. I'm not your typical squirrel. I can see that. Just triple triple steak all around. No <laughs> lettuce or anything like that that those other squirrels eat. I like all. <laughs> Just a bowl of steak. Just a bowl of steak. To be fair, I've never yeah. seen a squirrel eat lettuce either. Just, yeah. just putting that out there. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. and and of course queso. <laughs> just, just a bowl. It's like it's like uh, it's like steak cereal with queso milk. Oh yeah. My God. Mm, and, that sounds great. To be you know, honest, not. you know, you 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 can see humans just like going into hot water for some reason, and they think it's cool with other people. I like to dip in hot queso. I really oh, find that that hot. soothes my nerves. Queso hot tub? Mm. Yeah, queso hot tub time mm. machine. I yeah. go back in time in my mind. If you've heard of uh, perineal sunning before. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> With queso, totally different experience. Okay. Totally Life different. Altering, I hear. Totally I've different. i myself, but. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. don't want to have any spices in the queso when you're doing that. Just because things might get a yeah. little too Hot. I learned that from Drake, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Did, yeah. did someone else write it for him? No, I remember that time he, like, put a hot sauce in his condom so that the girls could <laughs> like, Wait like a, a second. Like a real story. Wait a second. How did we not talk about this Drake story? He put hot sauce in his allegedly, condom? Allegedly, allegedly, Drake puts hot sauce in his condoms after he has, you know, altered. Oh, so, like, people can't, like, take the condom and, like, have yeah. a Drake baby without his consent? Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant. I mean, you figure I would. <laughs> you would take Drake's who, who is Drake of the squirrel community? What's what's this artist's name? Uh, his name is Squeak. Squeak. Oh, Squeak. Squeak. <laughs> Squeak. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. He's yeah. a squirrel, so. He's yeah. literally just a squirrel, Drake. Yeah. <laughs> Squeak. All right. Yeah. So, rap, uh, Beloved. Cl- classical R&B. What is he? All of it. Co- all of contemporary? it. Contemporary. Okay. Multi-talented. That and, is impressive. Uh, that you is know, impressive. we don't make condoms that small. We don't <laughs> squirrels don't need them, but we don't need them. Fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. <laughs> we like to multiply. Mother Nature just kind of handles the yeah. uh, the excess. I yes. get. Yes. Yes. Right, <laughs> wait. Can you know what? You know what? <laughs> I don't remember the words myself, <laughs> but if you could sing just a little bit of that one Squake song that I you you know the one. Oh yeah, yeah. What you- um, tripping on Squanagi. I like to get my Spigagi. And hit up on the lady G's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the one. That's yeah. The one. That's the yeah. One. That one run yeah. uh, 10 squammies. That's oh, yes. 10 squam. <laughs> wow. I didn't know you followed our. I, I'm very big into the vampire squirrel community. I didn't wow. know if you knew this. No, I had uh, no idea. <laughs> no, no. I'm, I'm a. Yeah, they, they call me a, a, a Squifty. A, squ- a Squifty. What? Yeah. You are that high up. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, like I'm a high like lord. My, uh, wow. My, uh, my, my fate account for the squirrels is wow. up here. It's like 19. I have a new respect for you now. You know, that's why we asked you on Vampire Squirrel. Yeah. So, yeah. so as, as a, uh, a, a, a squirrel diplomat and, you know, a... Uh, a, a missing link between human and squirrel culture. Can we be assured that the squirrels are not secretly forming a coalition to end all human life on this planet? Uh, well, I will uh, plead the fifth on that and uh, exercise my my squirrel rights. Um, but I, I can secretly uh, assure you that nothing's going to happen that will hurt people who love squirrels oh okay keep that in mind folks what will happen to the people who abuse squirrels though oh or like e squirrels well that's why we have formed the vampire squirrel coalition Wait, we, need, we need to <laughs> you did you are forming a coalition we oh the only BSC, rise you never up, heard of it oh we shit. only rise up in defense of ourselves oh 
yeah. And we turn humans into uh -huh. vampires that we then control, almost like the cordyceps mushroom kind of is a neurotoxin type thing, and it helps us to... You think you see these humans as real humans, but we're we're controlling their brains. Bro, yeah, you ever seen Vanilla Sky? Kind of like that, but vampires world. I've right. Never, no, I've never seen it. Right. Uh, this, this sounds like some Hamas shit. <laughs> I have yes. to like, worry about something? Yeah. Am I, should I be concerned? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, well, sometimes, I mean, better lock your door when you sleep. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Squirrels are pretty in, uh, intrusive. They can right. pick get locks. Right, and, get right in there. Yeah. <laughs> so. I'm a little concerned, but uh, I, I think I think, okay. uh, I think we have a, a good idea <laughs> We do. Of what we is do. to come mm -hmm. in the we future do. now. We absolutely right, do. Right. So. Well, I recommend you follow dangerous. Squealon Musk. Uh, he has a lot to say on this Squeelon topic. Squealon Musk. Okay, yeah, yeah. of course. Yep. Of course. Mm -hmm. Mr. Squealon. Yeah. Squealon. So. He head of the squitter. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Squex. Oh, yeah. I yeah. forgot I got involved. Yeah, it got changed. Yeah. You know, who? Yeah. It's very, so. very strange how the, the ancillaries work out like yeah, that. Yeah, they're very copycat culture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you can find him sometimes just reading a magazine on platform nine and three quarters. And, uh, you know, oh, if you ever okay. wanted to just speak to him. I love the, I love the, uh, Squarey Potter. <laughs> God, I don't know. I'm the, the joke has been Potter. run into the ground. Any, anyways, <laughs> that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT and Vampire Squirrel. Uh, we are out.